Hey everybody and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. So today I'm going to be doing the uh, mod bundle video. Wowee, it's been a while but uh, I finally, I'm finally doing it. Uh, it's going to be on quality of life stuff and fixes and uh, stuff like that. Hope you guys enjoy. It's a pretty long list so buckle up and they're in no particular order by the way. So starting off we have Ped Accuracy Fix by Machine555. This mod improves and makes more realistic the accuracy in the game for many of the different Ped groups. So all of the different gangs in the game, the Adriscals, the uh, Murphy Brood and, and all of the different gangs uh, and all of the police officers and sheriffs and bounty hunters, every different group of NPC has had their accuracy changed to be more realistic and more aligned with their profession. You know, civilians won't have as good of aim as uh, trained bounty hunters or Pinkertons, so yeah. Oh, and also the mod doesn't touch the Dutch Vandalin gang's accuracy. And the next mod is No More Arthur Animations for John in brackets and it's by Abok I Abokai I'm a dumb British man please forgive me anyways leaving my terrible pronunciation of his name aside this mod fixes the bug that for whatever reason made it so uh, John had Arthur's running animation and the next mod is Cornstack Fix by um, future me please put his name here this is such an annoying bug in Red Dead you pick up the corn sack and it just folds straight it, it like turns solid when it's supposed to be flaccid uh, and this mod fixes that it makes the corn sacks flaccid uh, and genuinely that is a huge annoyance in red dead um, it's bugged me ever since the game came out and never got fixed for whatever reason but luckily this hero is here to save us so the next mod is calorie descriptions by bowman 70 very simple mod it adds a little calorie descriptions to foods so you can see whether it's high medium or low in calories and next up we have realistic loadouts by this fine man right here so this is a huge mod but i'm just going to try to keep it short because i don't want to spend 15 minutes in this video just discussing one mod um but basically it just reorganizes the loadouts for all of the different npc groups Literally all of them. It also changes some of the combat behavior for uh, NPCs as well. But the, for the most part, what you're going to be focusing, focusing on is the gun loadouts. It adds a whole variety of weapons to different NPC groups. In this video here, I just spawned a bunch of gang members, but it does this for police officers, for sheriffs, for lawmen, for literally every single NPC group, even hunters and stuff. Hunters will, will now use um, uh, Springfield rifles instead of just Spencer rifles. This might be a little hard to believe, but not everybody in the Wild West just used Colt 45s and Spencer rifles. There was a pretty big variety of weapons out there, and this mod fixes that. And next up we have New Smoking Animations by 1 Minute YT. I've made a video on this mod before, but just in quick. It adds two new animations to the game. One is smoking cigarettes, and the other one is for smoking cigars. To smoke a cigarette, press N on your keyboard, and to smoke a cigar, press K. You can change these hotkeys in an INI file. Next up, we have All Weapons Unlocked by Jose Fig. This mod just unlocks all of the weapons at the weapons dealer at any point in the campaign you're at. Just a very useful mod to have installed. I don't understand. Well, I guess I, guess I do understand why they lock guns, but it doesn't make sense from a, a realism perspective. Plus, if you're on your 10th playthrough like me, you just want to be able to pick out your favorite guns and just use that. And this next one is another simple one, but very essential to any playthrough. This one is Map Revealed by Jose Fig again. And basically it just removes the fog of war that was introduced in GTA 5 and continued on into Red Dead Redemption 2. Absolutely fucking despise the fog of war. Makes no sense. Why do faps... Faps? <laughs> Why do maps reveal how... like themselves over time the more you explore like it doesn't make any sense it, it looks like a paper map that's the aesthetic they went for arthur isn't drawing each road as he travels across them so uh yeah that's why i like this mod and next we have fixed bandolier no more hovering by blank 1923 this mod adjusts the bandoliers so they're not floating around your character and they're actually placed on your character and the next mod is james langton npc replacement by this sexy individual here and what the mod does is pretty simple it replaces him bleh, with him 
And next up we have holstering animation by this fine gentleman. It's a really simple mod and a really nice mod to have. It just adds a little animation when you holster your uh, weapon on a horse. Uh, and that's pretty much it. And next up we have first person walk fix by this beautiful individual. So by default in Red Dead Redemption 2, if you go into first person and you move forwards, you'll start running. Don't really know why, but you do. And this mod fixes that. It makes it so you walk, you know, by default. And then if you want to run, you can press shift. Really good mod for immersion and um, just a simple mod to have installed. So sticking on to the running bug fix theme, we have fix toggle run on keyboard by Kid. And um, this mod adds the toggle run thing from GTA 5 into Red Dead Redemption 2. Why it wasn't in the game to begin with, I have no idea. Uh, but basically, if you don't know what a toggle run is, you press shift to start running and you hold shift to sprint. Uh, but if you want to stop running and you just want to transition back into a walk, you can press shift again and it will transition you back into a walk without your character fully stopping. Again, a really simple mod, but a really nice one to have installed. And next up, we have high res UI by a classy slice of toast. Simply put, this mod just uses unused high resolution textures for the icons in Red Dead and makes them look a lot sharper and nicer. Enjoy it. And next up we have Remove Horse Speed Limit by this beautiful specimen. Sorry I can't pronounce half the names on this list. I'm a dyslexic, borderline retarded man, so uh, just forgive me. And uh, Anyways, this mod removes uh, the horse speed limit that you get in towns and on bridges. So you can gallop at full speed, which it makes sense. And next up we have So You Lost Your Hat, Hat Map Markers. 2.0 by Pixie V. This mod displays a little icon wherever your hat is on the map. And next up we have Stash That Lantern, also by Pixie V. This mod lets you equip a lantern and then attach it to your satchel so you can still have all of that wonderful light around and you can use a long gun uh, at the same time. Uh, it's real useful when you go exploring caves. Um, uh, you, you get a long gun. And normally in vanilla Red Dead you can only use a pistol and a lantern. Um, also with this mod, you can use a lantern on your horse without just holding it up in front of you. You can equip it to your horse's satchel and then you can ride around and have some light. Next up we have another mod by Pixie V. This is Non-Sticky Hats. It's a very simple mod but I absolutely love it. It makes it so your hat isn't stuck to your head like it is in vanilla game. This is something you might not actually know but your hat only comes off during scripted moments like when, I, when an NPC shoots your hat off. But this makes your hat falling off a lot more dynamic. You can fall over and you lose your hat and then you have to pick it up in shame. And next up we have Extra Difficulty Settings by Bowman70. This mod adds some new settings you can turn off and on in an INI file, you can make it so you can lose money on death, lose the weapon you were holding when you died, you can make it so sleep no longer regenerates uh, your health and only stamina, and you can remove Deadeye, don't know why you do that but you can. And next up we have Scroll Wheel Movement Speed 3.0 by Pixie V. There's quite a few of these Scroll Wheel Movement Speed mods but this is the one I prefer most, it's the most simple, has a tiny little UI element that appears uh, in the bottom middle of your screen but, but anyways this mod lets you control the movement speed with your mouse wheel. You press your swap shoulder key, which for me is X, and then you can walk and use your scroll wheel to run and do all of that stuff. And last but not least, we have Snappy UI by Wicked Horseman. This mod removes all of the weird like delay there is on all of the menus, uh, makes it all snappy and immediate. You press a button, you get where you want to go. Anyways, uh, that'll be it. That'll be all. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And found some fun mods and um, endorse the mod authors and like the video. Goodbye.